Okay, uh, today we'll be talking about MySQL insert into function and we'll be using uh, different methods and in any case if you want to insert something into a database I'm using a MySQL yeah MySQL library MySQL dot li library and uh, I'm using PHP and I'm running it on Ubuntu 11.04 uh, server so uh, I will not be making forms, I will be just using the function. So the first thing first, mysql co connect. Uh, here you write first is host uh, and the password. So basically it's local host, then it's root, and then it's some kind of pass or you write it your own. And then you sh should select database. It's a database table. You create it as a folder in the beginning and then in the folder you create tables. Um, for example, database. you write in your own names if you wish. Um, so now we'll be inserting uh, information into a database. So you first have to have information collected. Uh, so Basically, it's a post function from a form. Sorry, info. Uh, the MySQL query is like this. MySQL query. So there are many methods how to insert from, uh, something into a database. The first is most simplest. It's Insert into the name or table. Uh, this is a table where to insert. This is the table folder where are the lots of tables, and here is the uh, the main table inside this folder. Uh, and then you write values. So the most simplest way is you have two fields. Uh, I'll I'll open my database. Wait two seconds. Uh, sorry, I'll show you. Uh, for example, I'm I open this is sorry. Uh, this is for example categories, and I have lots of lots of tables under here. I have many 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 not tables. I mean I mean columns. Um, so in in this place we should insert two values and two columns, which is quite uh, simple. If you have only two, and will, you will not expand the database even further. But if you have like 40, 60, or 70, and you need to insert only one value in the whole table, you need to write a different code. For example, if I use only two, I will not change the table and, and never then this is the most simplest way. But if you have like 40, 50 columns inside the table, you need to write a different code. For example, the first is always ID, which you leave blank, and then you write post info something. And after this query is finished, it will insert this information into the database. But I will not recommend to use this code, but this is the most simplest. I recommend you to use this code. Uh, for example, insert value into database table. For example, uh, name, age, uh, address. Into values, first, second, third. Uh, so here is much better. If you have like a table with 10 columns, like ID, name, age, sex, address, phone number, email address, and so on and so on and so on. If you insert uh, only these three, the rest, the query will leave blank. So here you write name, post name, post age, and post address, and this tab this function will be suitable if you expand the table, if you delete a row, and so on and so on, but you have to make sure that these columns exist in the table. And then right here, here write name, age and address. 
for example, if you're using the previous code, which was only this, uh, and if you expand the table, you need to expand also, for example, one more and one more, and also less. If you have only two columns, if you have three, if you have four, this the count of this should match with the table. So um, thank you for watching, and uh, see you soon.